Today I'm going to go over the second book in the War Captain's Companion, The Ship's Recognition Manual. So what this is, is a list of all the ships that had been published that, at that point. So here's a list of them by tonnage, with a spell jammer at more than a million tons being the biggest, all the way down to the locusts and the skiff, which are less than the one ton. And so it's got a list of all the ships. And here's some definitions about what the terms mean that describe the ships. And then it's got like a half page for each ship with a picture. And some of these, when they appeared before, there was no picture. So I want to make sure I show you all the pictures. The angel ship, which is a cobalt ship, looks like that. The antler ship which is used by the undead, looks like that. Now, those of you who are Babylon 5's fans, doesn't this look an awful lot like the spiders, like the spider ships of the, uh, the shadows? Okay, the Argos Sea by the Gravs. Whoever the Gravs are, I'm not sure, but yeah, it looks like an asteroid. The Armada. This is the off ship. I'm not going to show you every single one of these, but some of these. This is the Monarch class armada. A barge of a toss like an ancient Egyptian ship. The bat ship gets an entire page. Here's the Scrow battle wagon. Um, the blade is, a, this is a small two-ton ship, just a two-person ship, but it can be used to ram. So it's like a fighter that can ram. Uh, the bloat fly, this is a, the bolo ship, it's like a gnomish, tinker gnome ship. The carvel, it's just an ordinary ship that you attach a helm to, same with the cargo barge. And the catamaran. Here's an example of a dwarven citadel. It's a real shame that they didn't have a box set of building a whole Dwarven Citadel. Clipper ship, another gravelly ship with a helm attached. This one is used by the gift because they put lots of cannons on it. A coaster, a cog, this Corbina is a Aracocra ship. They're bird people, and so their ships look like airplanes. The Cuddle Command. The Denzel Fly is a variation of the Dragonfly ship, which I wish it had gotten its own ship card. And here's the Death Glory. That's a Nomi ship. And the Neomi Death Spider. Here's the whale ship, and up at the top of the tail fits this thing, which is a landing craft, because the whale ship can't land on water or land. So this is like the shuttlecraft to go down to the surface. Here's the dragonfly, the dragon ship, the truck car, the elated dreadnought, the dromon. There's an eagle ship, also used by the Aracocra. And the eel ship, which was a ship built by some early insectoid race that humans now use. The flitter, it's the elven ship. The flying pyramid. A galleon. Here's a spacey giant galleon. It's a galleon that's proportionally built so giants can more easily use it. And it's made out of stone. Here's a gift ship built around a big cannon. A uh, great galley. Uh, hammer ship. Uh, this is a unique ship from the Crystal Spheres module. Uh, it's a Vodani ship from that module. Here's a ship that the Arcane make for bards. Okay, so one of the supplements came out with ships for the drow, which makes no sense at all because they're an underdark race. What are they doing in space? But they had this, which is a small ship, 20 tons. 
and this, which is a big hundred ton heavy ship, and junk that should have been in the original set. Uh, click, click with pack, which is some, some sort of insect ship, insect here, whoever they are. Here's another ship built by that insectoid race in the distant past. And the leaf ship is a Thrycreen ship. The leech is a Neogi ship. Uh, the locust is a Japanese ship used by Wise, the aircraft that go on the aircraft carrier. Uh, long ship. This is an ogre ship, the mammoth. The elven man of war. A mantis ship is a scrow ship. Scrow is orc spelled backwards. And this is their ship. Uh, it's a Neogi Mine Spider. A Mosquito. This is a shame this one didn't get its own ship car. It's like a six ton small ship. Perfect for an adventuring party. It's the Nautiloid. Another Vodani ship. The Night Wolf. The Octopus ship. The Porcupine ship. That's a Goblin ship. Uh, the the Nation of Thay in Forgotten Realms has some mages that have built their own ship. And that's what it looks like. And this one is a unique ship, which I'll be covering in a later thing. This is a radiant ship that the elves make. This is a Zizjol ship. The Zizjol are an insectoid race. The scorpion ship's an orc ship. The striped ship is a human ship. The side wheeler, that's a gnomish ship, has a giant space hamster who runs on a treadmill to wind up a giant rubber band which powers the ship. Tinker gnomes, remember? Okay, so there's the skeleton ship that the undead use. A skiff used by the rock hoppers, whoever they are. A small jammer. Uh, the space leviathan, this was described in another book but there was no picture. So here it is. And the spell jammer. And the squid ship. Uh, this is the stone ship used by the Zorn. Looks like an asteroid to me. The swan ship, which is a halfling ship. Uh, the thorn ship. This is a tricrane ship that is like the semi fighters that fly off the leaf ship, which is their aircraft carrier. Here's the tradesman. The Triop, which is a goblin ship. Here's the Tsunami, the aircraft carrier of the Japanese that carries the plague of locusts. The locust ships are like fighters. Here's a turtle ship used by lizard men. A tyrant scout ship for the beholders. A tyrant ship for the beholders. Another difference. It's like a 23 ton ship. The other one is like a 13 ton ship. The Unity ships of Kerr. The, these are some insect race. And the ships, three of them can link together to form a bigger ship. It's the Urchin. That's a Yogi ship. Uh, the Dohar. Which is a Dohar ship. Dohar. The Vagabond. It's a human ship. A dark viper, a human ship. This is the Vodani diamond ship. And the wasp ship, that's a lizard man ship. Another Vodani ship, this one's called the werewolf. The whale ship, that's a cargo ship. The whelk, which is supposedly used by Illusius gnomes. The wraith ship. The wreck boat looks like a Star Trek shuttlecraft, it's a human ship. The Zebek is another human ship. Uh, this is Yacht, used by humans. The Yawl is a Nomis ship. This is like the engine. Now on the next page, you can see the wagons that carry it, pull it, that it pulls. It's like a train. The Zoo Craft is a colonization ship. And it has a few pages where it describes. Other ships that are variations of existing ones. And there's like this a different character sheet for ships.
and some assembly instructions for the counters that came with this set, which I will describe in a later video. An advertisement for a Spelljammer novel. Now here's a list of all the ships by what race uses them. And on the back is a little summary of the different people that might crew a ship. So that is the second book from the War Captain's Companion.